<laughs> so when you see a nigga with dreads, forget about it. <laughs> That's right, bro. And wait till you hear what this nigga saying. I'm gonna play it. <laughs> Ooh, Jake, it's hot. Jake hate the Israelites, man. Damn. So we're gonna get right into it, y'all. Just uh give me a moment here to get set up. Ah, this doggone. What is it? Get it. <laughs> Rude boy. Come on, come on. And y'all got excuse me. I just got out of the shower. I'm hot. Okay, yeah, so I'm on here. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's get right into it. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rikach, Dash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Enough respect to the brothers teaching and preaching worldwide. Shalom to the hopefully elect. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Barak, a thumb to all y'all. Brothers and sisters, the few sisters that still watch, right? Which is, you know, we know you're out there. We know we'll be being hard on y'all, but, you know, it's, it's like that because of the bad apples, not because of the good sisters, you know, if there are any out there still, like we said. All right. So this lesson is entitled Beware of Black People and African Americans. And y'all know what we mean when we say that. Really, it should probably read uh, Beware of the Unconverted Israelites. But nobody really knows what that means. So we know what it means. But I wanted it to be a provocative title. Beware of black people and African-Americans because we're not black and we're not African-Americans. African-America is supposed to be two continents, but it's named after two white dudes. How the hell can you relate yourself to that? You know, matter of fact, let me bring up something real quick here. Before we get into it, I'm just going to give a few minutes. So because a bunch of Jakes will come in here and then after we start, what's going on, brother? What's this about? I missed the beginning. I was like, oh, you know, flipping all out. So to keep having to repeat myself, which they could easily just watch the dog on. Uh, they could easily just watch the beginning. But as y'all know, when we get on these live streams, Jake losing their damn mind sometimes. So I'm going to go over here and show you something. Uh, and then we're going to play this video. Just give me a second here to get it set up. Okay, so when you look up this guy, right? Leo Cyprio Africanus. And you brothers out there should know who that is. This is some images. Um, let's just grab this right here. If you look over here in these images, you can't be African American. Are you descendants of two white men? Leo Cyprio Africanus, Roman general who defeated Hannibal in the Second Punic War, right? So Africa's named after. Amerigo Vespucci. America was named after Amerigo Vespucci, who was a so-called Italian, which both of these guys just Edomites. Italian explorer, who they named, supposedly named America after. And there's a lot of history on this stuff. You can go and look it up. You know, it says here, later years, Scipio returned to turn to heroes, returned to a hero's welcome in Rome in 201 BC due to his triumphs in Africa. See, so there's a lot of history behind this. And we know that the term black doesn't mean anything either. If matter of fact, you know what? Let's go back. Let's do this. Uh, if we look up, let's go back to regular Google. And let's say define black. Let's see what it means. Let's see what they say it means. Black. Black. I'm black, black y'all. <laughs> It says, of the very darkest color, owing to the absence of our complete absorption of light, the opposite of white. <laughs> now, here they say, of, of any human group having dark colored skin, especially of African or Australian an uh, Aboriginal ancestry, which all so-called black people are not even the same group. This is, that's, this is white uh, supremacy right here. Black color or pigment, a member of it, you know, same thing, you know, 
but particularly it means void of light without light that's what black means the connotation of it is evil you know black dark it's the connotation is evil now us as israelites we've awakened to the fact that of who we really are we are the hebrew israelites right we're not black there's no people known as black in the bible that you know as specifically as a group known as black because you got the hamites they're so-called dark-skinned people the whole planet basically was all brown skinned people because there's no people that's black there's some people that's really dark but to say that they're black they're just really just dark brown so nobody's black nobody's african-american really the so-called white people would be i mean they named it after themselves leo sippy is the african you know they named it you know which they modeled the uh term africa after him or the uh, continent which really in the bible is known as the land of ham right so really in short what we saying though is our people that have woken up to the truth as israelites we hebrew Israelites. we're not black and we're not african-american so when we say beware of these people what we're saying is those that are unconverted those that hadn't even if they know that they're Israelites, you still got to watch out. If any guy referred to himself as a black person or a black Hebrew Israelite or, or whatever, African-American, watch out for them people because they ain't right, man. They're not right. Now, this brother here got a good scripture I'll read. Shalom, righteous indignation. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37, it says, Thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. And that's true. Because those names, black, African-American, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, Latino, Native American, which Native American or Indian means savage. These are just bywords, and it's pursuant to the curses that would be called these different names. Now, us in the truth, we know that we know the truth. And you have to watch out for these people that are unconverted because they're going to give you up. The scriptures tell you to watch out for these people before I play this. And these Jake's. When we say Jakes, we mean Israelites, whether they converted or not. We say watch out for these people, but these are Israelites. They're going to give you up, man. And when it comes to the truth itself, most of our people are the, those that are from our nation of people, which they may still call themselves these names, black, African-American, Puerto Rican, Indians, Hispanics, Latinos, whatever. They may still call themselves that. Right? <clears throat> Brother said it. <laughs> Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> right. James Brown, you know, this is the thing. When they find out that, you know, when they, when they come in contact with the truth, they're going to have one or two, you know, maybe three uh, um, opinions. They're going to say, well, I need to know more about it. Are they going to say talk shit right away? Or are they going to be glad right away? Right. So either you're going to choose to be to acknowledge your Israelite or you're going to say, no, I ain't no Israelite. Which I'd have had my family members say both. So before I play this guy's uh, uh, rant, because he's been obviously came in contact with some Israelites and his emotions got all messed up and his nuts is crushed. So let's read this for a disclaimer right away because just because people don't believe don't mean shit. Romans 3, you know, let me start at 1. It says, Romans 3 and 1, what advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? much every way chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of the most high for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect if just because they don't believe it does it ma does it matter yeah how will forbid yeah let the most high be true with every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged because what we know is all the Israelites ain't even going to receive the truth anyway. So what difference do it make if they don't believe? That just means the Lord didn't want them to wake up and they're going to be destroyed. Right? So um, some brothers, I, I imagine you already seen this, <laughs> this video, this guy. That's why you're answering the way you're answering on the comment board, which is fine. But I'm going to play it for those that haven't seen it. Let me come out of this right here. Now, I learned about this from, uh, let me show it first, from one of the brothers. From the New York camp, his page is it? Um, let me show it to you here. As soon as it'll open up, there it is. All right, so from the brother Kadar Shapai 8, he had put a video up earlier. This is how the this is how the majority of black and Hispanic men feel about Hebrew Israelites. 
And this brother go into a lot of videos about these crazy Israelites, both ones that know the truth and ones that don't know the truth. That well, normally he goes into those that know about the truth, but they got something negative to say. But he go into a lot of different things, you know, a lot of different things. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a link to his page because he, you know, do a lot of edifying videos. Go into the market of bees. Go into a lot of stuff. But I learned about this video from his page because he played the dude clip and then he did a lesson on it. But I just went ahead and uh, from his video that he played, and I put a link to his page. So you brothers and sisters, subscribe to that brother, you know, because he is also one of the um one of the prophets out in the highways and hedges. <laughs> Right, so the brother right here said, uh, measure the time, measure down the time diligently. He said, I stopped the video the moment he said I have to get something off my chest. And what's happening is this truth is around the whole earth, and Jake is hearing about it. And some of them, they don't like what they hear. They're getting all messed up. So our people are they're going to be some of the biggest, which I changed the title. The original title was Our People, Our Own People are Some of Our Biggest Enemies. You know, but. In any event, it is what it is. Now I'm gonna go and play this guy's original video, and then we'll, you know, bring out some. After you hear what he says, then we'll just go from there. All right. So his video was entitled here. Let's see it. As soon as it pops up, and this dude is, is crazy looking, man, with them freckles and them dreads, look crazy as hell. So his video is entitled "The Modern Day Hebrew Israelite Is a Cult." <laughs> And his page is entitled uh, Thick Skin Only with Maurice, Maurice Delk. So when I saw the title from the brother's video, I just looked it up and it and it popped up. This nigga here out of his mind, man. He says here, word of the day, stop being hateful. So right away, Jake got an issue. Which which really it just go it just go back to them to them fucking devils, man. Them fucking devils. He loved he he loved everybody. He loved the devil. And he don't want us getting on these people. See, we're guilty, but getting on the damn devil and the rest of the nation, they ain't guilty. They ain't did shit wrong. It's us. We're the problem. But again, beware of black people and African Americans because they'll give your ass up. Okay? Period. Now, I'll read this real quick from the brother. Shalawan, brother Daniela from the Pittsburgh camp. Yasharala, power, and pray. John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. And that's the bottom line. Jake don't want to be reproved for their damn wickedness, man. The whole world don't. We've been reading that. Men love darkness rather than light. Niggas got to give, he got to, hey, and, and for a guy like this, when he come in, if he come into the, if you want to come into the faith, he got to cut that damn hair. He got to stop eating pork, right? He got to differentiate between the clean and the unclean, both people as well as food. See, he don't want to do that. He want to stay, a, a, like the brother said, he got a house nigga spirit. He want to stay in the world, you know, and he just want to be a, a, a citizen of Babylon the Great, which it don't make no difference to us. If you want to be a citizen of Babylon the Great, no problem. You're going to die with the rest of these people. Now, let's let's go ahead and play the video now because we got, you know, a good room full. So we'll play it. Anybody that miss it, you'll just have to catch it on the replay. <clears throat> so here's the guy right here. The modern day Hebrew is like is a code. It's only three minutes long, three minutes and twelve seconds. So after this, we'll bring out some scriptures, more scriptures. So my computer act right. What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? I want to get something off my chest. <laughs> I see a lot of blacks, a lot of black folks sitting Hebrew Israelites, right? And Okay, you want to say we Hebrew Israelite, you want to believe in Yahshua, you want to say that, and the blacks are the chosen one. I get that, but stop using Hebrew Israelite to hate people, to hate white people, you know? Stop using that to say God don't love everyone, God don't love everybody, God do love everybody, man. And and I'm so disappointed in y'all, because y'all don't really know the true meaning of a Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew Israelite... Don't waste the energy on hating people. If you go look at the, the, the Hebrew Israelites that, you know, that, that were like in bondage, they didn't hate anybody. They were still praying and all that. But stop using that. See, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. These modern day Hebrew Israelites are fake. They are fake. You know, because I, 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 I asked even a few Hebrew Israelites, do you love white people? If you like this here. 
I said, so you would see a white baby at that getting kidnapped or whatever. You wouldn't do anything about it. Like, see, that's not the that's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is a like merciful God. That is a loving God. And uh, you people are using that as an excuse to hate to, to hate white people, to hate people. Period. And God is not a God of hate. My God is a God of love. God is love. God is the same God today yesterday and forever so i be tripping on y'all man hebrew israelites man y'all call yourself hebrew Israelites. let's be honest ain't no more hebrew israelites i'm, I'm, I'm tired of y'all with that i am so tired of with y'all y'all do not know y'all word of god y'all do not know y'all word or nothing you know I, I, i'm tired of dealing with these people man oh god hates the god don't love it no 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 god is a, we have free will it's our choice like vomiting you know hebrew is like man you you got and, and i see a lot of hypocrisy with the hebrew you with your so-called hebrew israelite because you're not hebrew israelite so please do not go there with me i, I mean I'm, I'm just like wow 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 i can see the demons in your eyes but you call yourself hebrew Israelite. you call yourself children of israel but you have demon. You 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 have so many demons. Oh, you, you are openly, you are openly hateful person, and you have to get it out of your head. And I just look at all y'all like, man, won't y'all just sit y'all tails down, man? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Everybody is human, so stop <laughs> acting like you are you superior to everybody or oh, everybody. You know, not all white people are. Racist, not all white people are bad. It's like not all black people are bad. So y'all need to sit y'all tail down with that, man. I'm, I'm just so tired of these the Hebrew is like religion. See, I rebuke that spirit of religion. That's all it is is a spirit of religion, which is a spirit of division. Next. <laughs> Hurt. <laughs> Hurt. What's... This nigga's out of his mind, man. <laughs> Jake is gone. Woo! Freckled, freckled nigga. Yeah, the dude bugged out. Where do we begin? I mean, <laughs> what was the LMA <laughs> in his feelings? <laughs> Woo! Nothing he said was uh, scriptural. <laughs> but that's why I said you got to watch out for these people. That nigga there will give you up, man. <laughs> it will give you up. You get that guy a gun, and, and, and if you, you next to the slave master, he'll kill you. <laughs> Jake is gone, man. Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, brother said it. He got an my family member. He hurt. Woo woo. I'm gonna have to play it again before we go. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Shout out. <laughs> he said this dude's father's an Edomite, his mother's a Jake. Well, more than likely, probably. That's why he acting like that. He he cut. He told me he tired of the Hebrew Israelite religion. Or whatever. We're not a religion. We're a people. And the good thing about niggas like that, you about our people in general is that the most high going he hey if you ain't going to convert and repent and be he converted that your sins may be blotted out you ain't going to make it so if you don't want to say you're Israelite that's fine with us we read Romans 3 and 3 already this dude going to get cut off and die man you know so i mean you can see it but this is this like the brother put in his video that's how the average native american latino and so called black people feel about the hebrew Israelites man because it's it's uncomfortable for them to to uh, uh, be in a manhood and be in a power. They used to be in docile and used to be in slaves. He's a slave minded nigga, man, right? So that's why I say beware of these people. Now, what do the scriptures say? Let's let's get a few scriptures. We'll come back to uh, this dude named Maurice <laughs> Maurice Delk. <laughs> I, as a matter of fact, before we go on, let's look on the comment book. The brother went over there and said something to him. Now, to you brothers and sisters out there, I don't particularly agree with going on this man comment board saying a whole lot of shit to him what's the point it's really no point you know he's a lost jake ain't no need of going over there getting all on this guy going all crazy he just lost we're just using him for edification but i'm gonna show you his comment board now one brother went over there and i ain't you know hey it is what it is so you see people coming in there god wants us to love equal that ain't in the scriptures nowhere we're we're scriptural people we biblical now this brother died garments from bible he says you don't know the scriptures fool he puts psalms 139 21 verse 22 do not i hate them O lord that hate thee and am not i agree with those that rise up against thee 
I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. And that's scriptural. This is why you got a defeminate spirit on you because you're not a man of the Lord. Where's the scriptures to back up your vain opinion? And fools will still listen to you despite the fact you brought not one scripture to substantiate your folly. And he's correct. But if you look here, look who comes. Black conservative in Chicago, MJ. A lot of those modern day Hebrew Israelites twisted the scripture to preach hate and racism. That's one statement. Now listen to this. But they accept Hispanics and Native Americans who are not black. You confused as fuck. See, you're going to always going to black and Negroes and, and, and uh, African-Americans. Watch out for these people. They're enemies of the truth. They're enemies. And, and like I said, I wouldn't tell no brothers to go over there and, and make no comments to this dude. Leave him, man. Leave him. He's been he's been exposed to the truth. He heard the gospel being preached. If he ain't going to repent. Fuck him. He, he can die. So you brothers and sisters, be wise. You know, don't go over there getting all on this guy, you know, trying to post scriptures because he's not going to listen. He's not going to listen. He made his mind up and he's been exposed to the truth. I'll put the, you know, for brothers that may want to do response videos, because it's, it's a lot to it. I'm not going to go into everything that he said. I'm just going, to, you know, deal with it a little bit. But when I watched it, it aggravated the shit out of me. These jakes get on my nerves, man. And I'm sure all the brothers and sisters feel the same way. He throwing us, he's trying to throw us under the bus for the sake of the whole world and the damn slave master, man. But that's, but that's what you got. So what do the scriptures say about our own people? And then we may deal with some of these other things too, you know. Um, let me bring up first here. And you know from the from history past what how our people have been, even toward the Savior. Um, he's talking about hate and all this stuff. There's so many directions we could go in, but let's just start right here. We'll bring out Matthew chapter 10, I believe. This is what the Lord said. So to, to back up the title, beware of these people. Matthew 10, verse 34, it says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance. He said, well, all we do is bring division. What does this say? For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Let's look up variance. What they say it is. In the Greek, at variance is the word dechazo. Or de, let's see how he says it. Strong's G, 1369. Dechazo. Yep. Dechazo. Dechazo. It says to set at variance. To cut into two parts, cleave asunder, sever. That's division. You sever something, <laughs> you cleave it. You cleave it in two. To make a part, i.e. asunder, set at variance. And let's go further than that with it. We'll come right back. Let's go to Google and, and, and look it up. Define variance. See what it says. Variance. All right. It says the fact or quality of being different, divergent or inconsistent. Uh, the state or fact of disagreeing or quarreling. See. And similar words would be difference, variation, discrepancy, dissimilarity, disagreement. For I've come to set a man at disagreement, conflict, deviation, contrast, distinction, distinction imbalance incongruity so the lord said he ain't come to unite all people even in, the, in your own house and we'll explain that a little bit further let's get let's go back to matthew 10 and read it again matthew 10 <clears throat> now comment boy rolling i knew it was going i knew it was going to uh, uh, get everybody pissed off Matthew 10, 34, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Why does it say that? Many reasons, but the most obvious fact is this. Our people as the Israelites, we've been, as it says in Deuteronomy 28, 64, we've been scattered in the all, among all people. And we worship other gods of wood and stone, which neither us nor our fathers have known. So naturally, when you wake up to being an Israelite, 
you turn back to the most high which this world is under the vibration of esau edom right our people have gone astray they played the whole with many lovers or the harlot with many lovers so of course they're doing the things that don't please the most high when we found out what pleases the most high we went back to that for example a good example is so-called thanksgiving coming up ain't none of us gonna be celebrate celebrating that shit, but our families are so that can cause division variant same with christmas and the rest of these holidays of this world they're going to continue to eat pork they're going to continue to be black and african-american and niggas and indians and whatever else we're not going to be that we're not going to be called that we're not going to be associated with that so obviously there's going to be variants right it don't mean that you go to your parents and tell them you hate them and talk all kind of stuff because the scriptures give you guidelines you ain't supposed to curse your mother or father you're supposed to give them honor and respect of course but the scriptures he putting odds between families because you're going to turn back or somebody in the family is going to turn back and others going to stay asleep so obviously you ain't going to come together you're going to be a part you're going to be a variance right so what is nigga talking about the scriptures bring division not us we bring out the word of the most high as he told us to do and naturally that's going to cause the division right let's get uh let me go back and read it one more time Think not that I'm coming to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I'm coming to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth, af uh, and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Right? So he went on and elaborated even more. You can't be so in love with your family to the point where you will do what they want you to do more than what the Lord said because he knows it's going to make divisions and variances in the family. Right? You say you don't believe in Christmas, but since your mama wants you to put a tree in the house and she wants you to have ham and a turkey and all this other shit that go along with it and decorate for the sake of, or if your wife or your your kids or whatever well i'm doing it for the kids no you got to put that stuff off for the most high you ought to obey the most high rather than men so it's it's easily explained and able to be seen right there and that dude was just he just a, a hurt ass jake man he's just a field nigga i mean a, a damn uh a, a coon a house nigga salakia now let's read something else so when it comes to your uh hmm we're going to read also here Romans 12 and 1. What did the, what did the Lord advise? Or, well, what did Paul advise? And this dude said so many things. I'm not going to try to deal with everything that he said, but there's a few scriptures that came to mind. Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. If you are acceptable to the Most High, would you be caught dead at a Thanksgiving table praying to their false gods and their idols? Talking about, oh, I'm thankful when there's a, a celebration of slaughter of your brethren. You think the Most High is pleased with Thanksgiving and Christmas where they're celebrating killing off 10 of the tribes damn near? No, of course not. So you, you're not to be a part of that, right? Going on with it, he says even more. Holy acceptable unto the most high, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world. What's the image of this world like? We already been over it. They celebrate abominable holidays, they're gone in wickedness, they're doing everything. And this is the time of the year right now. And you may have Jakes that fall out of the truth or whatever. It's it's things that our people don't want to give up, as the brother put the scripture up, man. They don't want to be reproved of their, of their evil and their wickedness. They're going to still celebrate Christmas. They're going to still eat Thanksgiving dinner, whatever. They're going to still say, well, I won't do it for that reason. Like you tell Jake, celebrating Thanksgiving is a celebration of slaughter of the Native American. Well, I'm black. I ain't no name, you dummy. We one family. We one family, man. Going on. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. If you want to change a man, even with us, you can really stop sinning until you understood in your mind. Your mind had to be changed about these things. You had to know the reason why it was wrong. Even when you come into the truth, even knowing that the Sabbath is not Friday sundown, the Sabbath is sundown. 
You see the other people do it that's in the Holy Land now, calling themselves Jews and are not. They do it as the worship of the false god Saturn. Why would you do it as the Israelite? Knowing that's how they keep the Sabbath. Oh, brother, it's Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Shabbat, Shalom, you niggas. You demons. But without, but going back to these black and African Americans, don't try to tell them that that Sunday, that religion, and them songs, that man, Jake is, is gone off that shit, man. That demonic hum. Mm -hmm, I just wave my hand. They love that shit, man. That old time back because I, I came from that shit and I know what it's about. I sat there in the church on Sunday and watched these niggas turn flips and sweat and pass out and fall out. And it's the same women every week. It's the same women every week. Pass out, get the Holy Ghost. Niggas flipping the cartwheel all around the church, foaming at the mouth. Coco, bo, 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 all that. I done seen it, man. A demonic preacher telling people they want to. If they want to uh, get their sins and write it down on a piece of paper and, and put it in the trash can and set the trash can on fire and that's going to get rid of all your sins. Man, give me a break, man. That shit ain't true. <laughs> but see, our people are stuck on that, man. And that's that's that plantation Christianity. They don't want to turn it loose. But the good thing is that it don't matter. They're going to be destroyed. If they don't repent and be converted, their sins are going to be blotted out. And the scriptures told us plain, you're not to be conformed to this world. When we and we do this all the time, let's look that word up anyway. And be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. You got to change the way you was living. Let's look up conformed. And we we done looked it up several times, but let's do it again. Why not? Elder Apostle Gavar says it all the time. Repetition is the father of skill, right? This is how we learn to get things stuck in our mind. And there's somebody on the comment board that wasn't here before. So let's look it up. Strong's G, 4964. Suschematizo. 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 And it says to conform oneself, i.e. one's mind and character, to another's pattern. Fashions oneself according to. You don't supposed to fashion your mind after the way of this world. It says here are to fashion alike, to conform to the same pattern, to conform to fashion self according to. So you ain't supposed to do that. You're supposed to be of one mind with the with the most high himself and with your Howard shot in the way that our fathers walked. Right? So our fathers never kept Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, ate pork, two men being together. It's in it's contrary to what we believe in in our law. Why would we be a part of that shit? And you brothers, man, it's a, it's beautiful to see all y'all scriptures, but I, I'm not gonna be able to read them all. But that's good though, that the, the ones that come after us, they can read them. And I always go back and read every every comment, every scripture. But this Christianity stuff, that's why this dude is bugged out like that. He don't want to turn it loose. What he's seen on the streets, brothers preaching or whatever, it, it affected his psyche so much to the point we had to take time out of his life to make a video to scold us. That's a, but that's, there you go. You got to beware of these niggas, man. Watch out for them. These black. And that goes a long way. The black consciousness, the black Egyptians, the chemists, the the new Wabians, even the Moors. Jacob popped up in a minute. Yeah, we was Moors when we was Israelites. Hey, shut up, man. You don't know what you're talking about. We was Canaanites, brother. This black civilization, brother. Watch out for these niggas, man. Watch out. Because they'll be the very ones that'll give you up. Let's read something else. The scripture was very plain. You were not supposed to be conformed to the image of this world. And that dude, with that, that nigga had a, a headband or a scratch around his dreads. <laughs> He probably brothers probably reproved him and told him you gotta cut your hair, bro. I ain't cutting my dreads. I've been growing them since I was five. <laughs> Nigga hurt. Romans 13 and 10. It says, Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Right. We about to be delivered, man. See, it is at the end when we're about to be delivered. All these jakes popping up trying to pull us back. I want you to come back into the world. Come on back to Jesus, brother. Jesus ain't never did shit for you. That old plantation Christianity BS, man. That shit ain't. Hey. <sighs> Going back to the scripture. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. The works of darkness is so-called Christianity, man. I did a lesson last week. Christianity is the reason that nobody understands the Bible. 
let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Just wanted to finish that off. Now, when you go back in history, we had to be beware of these same spirits coming back because they was against the Lord when he was on the scene. His own people gave him up to the Romans. And them same spirits are back now, ready to deliver us up. Matthew 23, the Lord was getting all over these niggas, man. Matthew 23, we'll start at verse 16. He says, Woe unto you, blind, uh, woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold. Uh, you know what? Let me jump down a little bit. Verse 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe and mint and anise and cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy and faith. These are ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guys with strain of the net and swallow a camel. This nigga here talking about hate and God is a God of love. and He love everybody and this, that and other. But meanwhile, he going off. You know that dude is a pork eater. Got dreads, dreads down his back. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Now, this guy, for the world, for the world of political correctness, he'll throw us under the bus. Meanwhile, we got our houses swept out, garnished and clean. We done repented from smoking and whatever we was doing, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, right? Eating all kind of unclean food. We try to respect the temple that the Most High gave unto us. We clean on the inside. This nigga want to be clean on the outside. He want to get along with everybody. I love everybody. You don't love white people? What are you talking about? Fuck you talking. So if you if you see a white baby about to get what if, whatever he said about to get killed, you wouldn't help him. When did we say that? We still at the end of the day, we still people. We got compassion. If I was standing next to a little white kid about to get ran over by a truck, sure I'd push him out of the way. But they still going into slavery. <laughs> they still the Edomites. Yeah, I would help them. If I see, oh, I do it all the time. You open the door for the so-called white people that's old, elderly. You help them if you can help. We're not cruel like that, but they going into slavery, though. That ain't got shit to do with what one thing got nothing to do with the other. He's using that to channel his frustration. How dare we stand up on our feet, right? As the scriptures say we would do. These people are going out of their minds. Here it is. You, you want to point fingers at us? We ain't doing none of the uh, none of the works of these people out in the world. And we ain't even committing sins like that. We trying to watch the way we walk, which is what the Most High told us to do. Meanwhile, that nigga covered over with sin and iniquity. Tomorrow you can see demons in our eyes. Yeah, okay. You can't justify none of that shit he brought out. He didn't bring out no scriptures at all. He just a Negro. He just an African American or what? Really, that dude probably is a terror, like the brother said in the comment board. I don't know his background. I didn't do that much research on the guy. Nothing. I just heard his stupid video. And I said it'd be good to go into it because I ain't doing nothing. I might as well just, you know, light this guy up. Good scripture, brother. GMS Memphis Calabria. Um, he got 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4. It says, In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. Yeah, their mind's been blinded by the God of this world. Both Esau, the so-called white man, and Satan. You know, under the power of Satan, rather. Because he put that white image out there and that I love everybody. If the Lord never said that in the scripture. You're talking about the God that drowned the whole world other than eight people in the flood. Burned up five cities of homosexuals. Gave a whole pe whole race of people, right, at the time our enemies, which they always are enemies, our ancient enemies, the uh, Philistines, gave them all hemorrhoids. And we did a lesson on that. He gave them hemorrhoids. Drowned all the Egyptians in the sea. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Emotional bitch ass nigga. Anyway, I ain't going to get mad. <laughs> I 
I ain't gonna get mad because as the apostles, you know, elder apostle Tahar was going into it his lesson today. Ain't no need to get mad. The most high is making the way more narrow by bringing out bug outs. Matthew 23, 29. He says, War unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. That dude is a hypocrite, man. A big time hypocrite. Because you build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous and say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. Right. Do what your fathers did. That's that adverse spirit that's always been against the prophets. And really, if that dude is a terror, he's one of the Romans. Of course, he hates us. Don't matter because he looked like us. So what? He don't really, he don't look like me. He's not damn freckles on his face, you know? So that's that antichrist spirit. The whole world hates us because we be we, we preaching the truth, right? Let me grab a quick scripture. And this is fastly becoming one of my favorites. John, is it three? Yeah, the spirit of the world is, is the spirit of Esau, the spirit of Cain. That's how they are. They, they like, they're liking into that. Um, Salakia. John chapter 3, verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. Now, some Edomites, watch it jump down the verse, brother. You're supposed to read that God of the world. Well, we already know that this, this is talking about the world of Israel, right? Do some studying. These Jakes, even if you break it down, they still won't accept it. Back in verse 18 again, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Not Jesus, not Yeshua, not Yahushua, all that crazy shit. Not Yah. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought of the most high. We say, Lord, search us out. If we find any iniquity in us, please help us get rid of it. We don't try to hide like Cain did. And these people don't want to be reproved of their wicked deeds. They want to stay. They believe the Lord going to come. And he's going to consolidate the kingdom of heaven with America, Babylon, the great, and let him continue to do wickedness. And he's not going to do that. He's going to destroy this place. This is 1 John chapter 3, verse 11. Verse 10. In this the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of the Most High, neither he that loveth not his brother. What's that talking about? Loving everybody on the whole planet? Is everybody your brother? Of course they're not. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning that we should love one another. Who do we? The Israelites. And even among the Israelites, you have the elect. Not all Israelites are your brothers in the spirit. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. He hated his brother because he was trying to do right. You know the story of Cain and Abel. Now that same spirit is in the earth now. Look at them Israelites. And then didn't the dude say that? You, you, that we ain't no better than nobody else? We think we better than other people? Well, we are, according to the Most High. He got his elect, and then he got everybody else. Right? He got his elect. Let me take that back. The elect, and then he got the regular Israelites, then everybody else. The Most High only loved Jacob anyway. We can prove that upside down. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. So naturally, they're going to hate us. Naturally, our own people are going to try to give us up because they gave the Lord up. It's all in the scriptures. And the brother put the, put the beautiful scripture up I was talking about. Shalom, Jim S. North Carolina 777. Brother Hawad, Psalm 51 and 10, create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. That's what we pray. And we're doing the best we can do. This nigga ain't, his, his house ain't swept out and swept and garnished and cleaned out. He still got evil spirits on him. He's saying it's on there. They're on us. They're not on us. 
we trying to do the best we can do. Now let's deal with this dude talking about this hate stuff. Cause Jake, that's the main thing. You try you use the Hebrews like to preach hate. You nigga. You just bring a few scriptures up here. Jake can never explain this. Romans 9 goes all into it. This is Romans chapter 9. Mm. Oh my goodness, I gotta start at verse 7. I'm just gonna go to the point. Romans 9 and 11, ver verse 10. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. Before the children ever came out, it was already decided which one the Most High was going to love, which one he was going to hate. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. And who was Jacob? The Israelite. But Esau have I hated. Who is Esau? The Edomites. It's plain. This guy said the most high don't hate. And if you go further than that, if you go back to Malachi. Because Paul was quoting that from the Old Testament. Malachi 1 and 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. They was brothers. They came from the same family. Why did he love one and not the other? Romans 9 explains it when you read all through it. Yet I love Jacob and I hated Esau. And not only Esau, as it goes on to explain, and, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. It's plain. They call the wicked of the whole earth. They're going the earth is gonna be given into their hand. And the Lord said he hated them. Then he told us to prophesy against them. Proverbs 16 and 4: the Lord hath made all things for himself, yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Plain. Ezekiel 35. And that wicked is Esau, the Edomites, the people of Edom. Ezekiel 35 and 1, moreover, the word of the Lord came, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. The Lord told us plainly to, to prophesy against these people. If we listen to you and your bitch ass opinion, then we would be going against what the Lord said to do. The whole world mad at us over the devil, man, over devils, over devilish people. They don't want us to prophesy against them, preach against them. And we know that they're the Edomites. You know how we know? Because <laughs> we can no longer even put it on the comment board. It's a, almost a law. They, they, they could write it in the books. It's a law. No one can ever be referred to as an Edomite ever again for any reason. Esau, Edom, Edomites. I'm still going to say it. The Lord told us to say it. And it's for this time now. The Romans, which are Edomites or were Edomites, today are known as so-called white people. And the Lord told us to prophesy against them. We can't help your little, your nuts is crushed, your feelings is hurt. You don't want us talking about it. We get it. But we'd rather obey the most high rather than men. We are to obey the most high rather than men. This dude is off on so many levels, on so many things that he said. He wasn't right about nothing that he said, really. He was just hurt. And, and for all we know, and sometimes I think about this stuff, you know, Esau may set people up to make these little videos to see if we're going to take the bait and go, go, you know, bring it up and make the guy famous and make videos about it. Sure, we will. Why not? You might as well use it for, you know, for entertainment, to uh, uh, sharpen our swords on, to edify the rest of the flock. Why not? Nothing happens without the Most High's permission anyway, without his consent. So if he wants us to make videos about the dude, we're going to do it. The brother brought it out. I saw it. I said, this would be a good thing to go into, you know, just bringing some scriptures out. And your brother's got a lot of great scriptures. Pardon me for not reading, you know, your scriptures, but let me, hey. Every now and again, I got to read one. Defend the truth. Shalom, brother from Baltimore. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Did the people, did they spoil us? Did they do anything to us? Of course they did. So the same thing got to happen to them. Even people that don't know the Bible know how to quote 
do unto them as they do unto you, which the scripture don't say that it says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Right? But everybody know that. Them, them basic things, those basic fundamentals of the Bible. If you whatever you put out, you're gonna get it back. Let me go and, and bring it up. And it, it ain't got nothing to do with no damn karma. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Right. So if you ain't did nothing but wickedness on the earth, what you what what can you imagine you're gonna get back? It's well documented how much bloodshed these people have done. How much bloodshed? They're the only people that use weapons of mass destruction on the people. What do you think gonna be done to them? Proverbs chapter 4, verse 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked. Who is the wicked? Before we read on, let's just get it real quick. This guy don't want us to don't want us to preach against the wicked. He must know he's one of the wicked seed. Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Well, as many people have to come be called the wicked. Many people rule the world. Yeah, but the second part, who did it? He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who is he? Who took all the images of the Lord and everything and covered them over with a with a with a white image? With iconoclasm. Who did that? That's who the wicked is. Proverbs 4 17. Enter not into the path of the wicked. We just read it. Romans 13 said what? That we should not uh, uh, go into the way of these, these um, that we shouldn't be conformed to the image of this world, which the wicked has crafted the image of the world, right? Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. Don't be like these people, for they sleep not except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness. And drink the wine of violence. And we could go on and on with that point all night. Well documented. They didn't destroy the earth. They destroyed the people. All the blood is in Babylon the Great. If you could take the earth and do like this, it would be drenched with blood. And the number one undisputed heavyweight champion of blood is who? You already know. We can't. And they know that it's them because we can't even say their name without getting our videos flagged. <laughs> we got to say E. That's crazy. I never I never stopped laughing about that. We made the name Esau and Edom household names and it's ingrained in these people's minds. They hate it. La 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 now the Edomite. La, la. Yeah, you are. You you know you Edomites. Y'all know y'all Esau, man. Get over yourself. You see? Your brother got excellent scriptures. It's so much. I, I ain't I ain't even gonna, you know, bother. Now, let's go back and play this dude video again. See what else we hear. Oh, you know what? So like it before I do that, let's get a couple of other ones with the hate thing. Because this dude said God don't hate. And he, he completely going off. Most I does hate. <laughs> he don't love everything and everybody. What, what is the guy talking about? He's complete balance. God is a God of love. This is Psalms 5 verse 3. My voice shall, shall thou hear in the morning, O Yahweh. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. For thou art not a God that have pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. Who is the bloody and deceitful man? You already know. You already know. 1611 King James here. And these people have completely taken and hijacked the Bible and made a religion around it so they can bitchify the whole world and have Jake acting like a docile slave for the rest of eternity. And the Lord gave us back our, our manhood and heritage, and he, and he want to cry about it. Let's see. Uh, I hate this. You know what? I know where it's at. Twelve. 
twelve, I believe. And I know a brother put this on the comment board already, but I can't find it. So this is Ecclesiasticus 12 and verse 6. Verse 5, it says, Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not unto the ungodly. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him, lest he overmaster thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. For the Most High hateth sinners. For the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep it them against the mighty date of their punishment. Right? So does the Most High hate? Yeah, he does. Now, let's go over here and read this. Because people love to quote, God is love. But you got to balance that out. Who does he love? He don't love everybody. He loved Jacob. So that love that you read about is towards Jacob. First John 4 and 8. He that loveth not knoweth not the most high for the most high is love. Verse 16. And we have known and believed the love that the most high have to us. The most high is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in the most high and the most high in him. Right? Let's see what the love is. What's it based upon? John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. John 15 and 10. If you love, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Let me go back to 14. John 14, 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Uh, verse 23, how shall I answer and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. And the word which he hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. Now these devils, they go around in the earth telling you. And so lucky I didn't share that. Let me go back to it. It's lucky, y'all. Dog on it. That's on me. That's on me. Let's read it again. John 14, 21. <clears throat> I do that at least one time every day, every day. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not the world? Yahweh shall answer and said to him, if a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and, and the word which he hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. Now the Lord told us plainly, if you love him, keep his commandments. These devils have crafted it, took the Bible and crafted a religion where you don't have to keep the law. The only two commandments you got to love the Lord, your God, with all your heart and all your soul, right? And love your neighbor, which means what? You ask them to explain it, they can't even do it. They're just telling people, I love you, brother. I love you. Well, if you loved us, why did you kill us? Why did you put us in prison? Why did you continue to shoot us down and, and do... Why, if you love us, why are you taking our videos down? You, if all we supposed to do is just forgive no matter what, well, all we did was made videos. We didn't do shit to you. We made a bunch of videos calling you the devil. I get it. But you're still supposed to forgive us and love us anyway, right? You breaking your own doggone, uh, your own commandments, your own, uh, your own laws, or your own stupid religion, rather. Now, when that, that love that the Lord is talking about, he ain't talking about just some stupid words that you can lie about you prove it romans 13 and 8 oh no man anything but to love one another he's about to explain it for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law for this thou shalt not commit adultery thou shalt not kill you broke that one thou shalt not kill how did you get america how do we get over here what do you continue to do all over the world but you got the, the nerve to point the finger at us we don't have a military. We don't have any nu nuclear weapons or weapons of mass destruction. 
Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. We hadn't stole lands and landmarks and names of people and move you. We did all that. You did it. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling of the law. So why did you make a religion saying that you don't got to keep the law when the commandments is in the law? You know, they try to play with words. Oh, that's the mosaic law and the commandments is it's talking about these 10, not all these. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're the wicked. That's why these things are like kryptonite to you, to Superman. Because you don't want to do righteousness. You don't want to be reproved of your deeds. You just want to stay wicked. You want everything to be how you want it. And this nigga, these black people and these African Americans, they want to be the same way. They have your image. And all those that, that uh, have the image of this world, they're going to be purged out. The Lord, he's not going to save them. And this little dude is, you know, going crazy. He's done, man. Let's play a stupid video again before, before I close out. This guy's bugged out, man. And I, if you can stomach it, <laughs> I just I just like to just listen to these people, man. This dumbass. So again, this is Mr. Dick Skin Only with Maurice Maurice Delk. <laughs> the freckled wonder. Damn demon. Listen to this nigga. What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? I want to get something off my chest. I see a lot of blacks, a lot of black folks sitting Hebrew Israelites, right? And, okay, you want to say we're Hebrew Israelite. You want to believe in Yahshua. You want to say that, and the blacks are the chosen one. I get that. But stop using Hebrew Israelite to hate people, to hate white people. You know, stop using that to say God don't love everyone. God don't love everybody. God do love everybody, man. And and I'm so disappointed in y'all because y'all don't really. He, he don't love Edomites. We read that. He don't love Esau and the Edomites. Really know the true meaning of a Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew Israelite don't waste their energy on hating people. If you go look at the, the, the Hebrew Israelites that, you know, that they were like in bondage. They didn't hate anybody. They were still praying and all that. But stop using that. See, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. These modern day Hebrew Israelites are fake. They are fake. You know? Because I, 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 I asked even a few Hebrew Israelites, do you love white people? If you like this here. I said, so you would see a white baby that getting kidnapped or whatever. You wouldn't do anything about it. Like if, see, that's not the that's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is a like merciful God. That is a loving God. And uh, you people are using that as an excuse to hate, to, to hate white people, to hate people, period. And God is not a God of hate. My God is a God of love. God is love. God is the same God today yesterday and forever so i be tripping on y'all man hebrew israelites man y'all call yourself hebrew israelites let's be honest there's no more <laughs> hebrew israelites I'm, I'm, I'm tired of y'all with that i am so tired of that y'all do not know y'all word of god y'all do not know y'all word or nothing you know I, I, i'm tired of dealing with these people man oh god hates god don't love it no no no, no. god is our, we have free will it's our choice <laughs> know hebrew is like man you you got and, and i see a lot of hypocrisy with the hebrew you with your so-called hebrew israelite because you're not hebrew israelite so please do not go there with me i, I mean I'm, I'm just like wow 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 i can see the demons in your eyes but you call yourself hebrew israelite you call yourself children of israel but you have demon you 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 have so many demons oh you, you are openly you are openly hateful person and you have to get it out of your head. And I just look at all y'all like, man, won't y'all just sit y'all tails down, man? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Everybody is human. So stop acting like you are you're superior than everybody or everybody, you know? Not all white people are racist. Not all white people are bad. It's like not all black people are bad. So y'all need to sit y'all tail down with that, man. I'm not just so tired of these, the Hebrew is like religion. See? I rebuke that spirit of religion. That's all it is, is a spirit of religion, which is a spirit of division. Next. 
All right, Maurice. Later, cuz. <laughs> Nigga, that is gone, boy. He is hurt. That, that, that guy there, man. Whew. <sighs> Tired of these jakes, man. Man. We got to watch out for these people. And that's his spirit. He, he come in. He's got the spirit of the world all over him. He basically said we was all the same. He said we all the same. Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. Let's cut him right now. Ye are the children of the Lord, your power. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any bondage between your eyes for the dead. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. That's an Old Testament, brother. These people finish, man. The word of the Lord is devouring folks. First Peter 2 and verse 9. Let's we'll start at verse 8, uh, verse 6, verse 5, Salakia. Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and a holy priesthood to offer a spiritual sacrifice acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore... Which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. That's Maurice Delk. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, unholy nation, a peculiar people. That ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. See it? Which in time past were not a people, but now are the people of the Most High, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. And it ain't talking about everybody on the planet. First Peter 1 and 1. Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High the Father. Who is this elect people? Going right back to where we were. We went to uh, Deuteronomy 14, and it told us who the chosen were, right? This nigga talking about we, like we all the same. We ain't all the same. Oh, man, I messed up. That's all right. Isaiah 45 and 3. Isaiah 45, verse 3, that I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the, the Lord, Yahweh, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. It's quite obvious that the Most High only loved the Israelites. And that's his elect. That's his holy people. That's his peculiar people. That's his royal priesthood. Isaiah 65 and 9. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains. And mine elect shall inherit it and my servant shall dwell there. That's plain. Also, and there was another one. Wait, I got it. Isaiah 59, 20. Isaiah 59, verse 20. 20 and the redeemer shall come to zion and to them that turn from transgression in jacob said the lord as for me this is my covenant with them said the lord my spirit that is upon thee and my words which i have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth nor out of the mouth of thy seed nor out of the mouth of thy seeds seed said the lord from henceforth and forever romans 11 25. For I will not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits that blindness in part is happened to Israel. 
until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. These Gentiles are the Israelite farmers because it continues on. And so, as a result of what's written here and up top all through this chapter, and so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Jacob is the only one that's going to get the heart of flesh, the new covenant, Hebrews 8 and 8. The only people that will never commit a sin again in the kingdom of heaven. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. Finally, Luke 1, 68. Oh, we can read so many more. Luke 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. When you look up redeemed, and we did this many times. Lutra sees Strong's G three thousand eighty five Lutra sees Lutra What does redeem mean? A ransom ransoming redemption deliverance, especially from the penalty of sin. A ransoming redeemed redemption. Who the only people that redeem from the power of sin? Let's read on from the penalty of sin. Excuse me. The only people redeemed and purchased from the from the uh, punishment of sin. Luke 1, 68, blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant it to us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear and holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins plain the dude don't have no idea what he's saying man he's just a bugged out nigga which really he probably ain't even a real you know brother romans 9 and 1 i say the truth in hamashiach i lie not my conscience also bear me witness in the holy spirit that i have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart for i wish that myself were a curse from hamashiach for my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh <clears throat> Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises? Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, the anointed came who was overall Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. What's the dude? I mean, there's nothing else left to say. And there's a thousand other scriptures we could read. I know brothers put them on the comment board. I just had to go through these. Because it's open ended, and I'm sure other brothers may do responses or you know to that guy. I mean, you can attack many points that he made. He didn't speak any truth, any truth, and he's destroyed. Maurice Delk. And if you come across this video, because I'm gonna put your image up, you better repent, and the Lord's gonna destroy you. Well, you know what? I don't know whether you were Jake or not. It remains to be seen. Don't really matter to me. I just wanted to have an excuse to bring out a lesson and 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 just see what manner of these the manner of, of thoughts these people have so you brothers out there beware of black people of african americans because they don't love you they don't love israelites they don't want nothing to do with us all they want to do is be you know in league with the world and we know very well what's going to happen to him into the world they're going to come under the under the banner of the hebrew israelites they're going to bow down they're going to worship us they're going to be slaves if they're not israelites and if they are israelites they're going to be destroyed on this side and they reborn be reborn in the kingdom in their right mind and that's it man you know but watch out for these people beware all right as the scriptures told you you know and you know i apologize i didn't get a chance to read a lot of brother scriptures y'all got a lot on the comment board but it's just so many we can easily read nearly anything and and, and you know that dude will be cut you know and that's it so you know lord willing this was edifying you got something out of it 
you know, and I'll, I'll put the I'll put the link up one more time to this this guy video. This guy Maurice. But like I said, just advice. I can't give you orders. I can only give you advice. Don't waste your time going to this guy comment board, putting up no bean comments, saying nothing to him because he's just a lost ass. He's just a lost soul. And if he don't repent, he's going to be destroyed here if he's one of us, if he's even one of us. So, you know, I mean, use use your power for good. <laughs> As the scriptures say, don't overcome. Uh, well, let me go there and read it. So lock you. I'll close out with this. For real this time. Be not overcome. I'll finish it off right here with this. Matter of fact, yeah. Let's do it like that. This is the close out of scripture. Romans 12. Verse 17. Recompense and no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he a thirst, give him drink, for in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. This enemy is talking about among your people not no damn other nations but in reality don't offer but it said here live peaceably with all men so don't don't get stupid be not overcome of evil but overcome evil with good so there you go but it's completely nothing wrong with torment his ass with the scriptures making response lessons or whatever right so with that that's it so lord willing it was edifying to the you know to the flock the water to all you brothers coming on the comment board, leaving your scriptures and for coming through supporting. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, who is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom we do serve, regardless of what these people of the world say. Look at this, man. Look. You see that? Come on, man. Grow up. Grow up, man. I guess the brothers already got rid of that, that person. African. The hell man <laughs> Ooh, woo. hurt hurt the water all praise is most high how about shimmy how shy double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone enough respect to the brothers teaching the truth and preaching the truth worldwide to the holy lake shalom see you again soon lord willing shalom oh quick note i got another lesson a bonus lesson about to put up and check it out. Okay, he's dealing with faith. So check it out. See you soon, Lord willing. Shalom.